Why do they only go back as far as the 16th and the 17th century to talk about slavery? We've got to go further back than that. Because Islam, Islam designed infernal slavery. And then the Ashkenazi Khazars, those who say they are Jews and are not, are the ones that marketed it. And the regal Negro nomads exiled from the kingdom of Judah were the main recipients of it at the hands of the indigenous black Africans. Because you've got to understand, the regal class of the house of Judah came down from Israel and they came into the land of the black Africans. And the black Africans resented the regal class of the house of Judah in their land because they had laws, they had customs, they had civility. And they were a regal class of Negro that came down into Africa. And later on, it was the Ashkenazi, the Islamic slave traders as well, that then worked together with the indigenous black Africans to enslave the regal house of Judah. This is what we've got to understand, but you've got to go back before the 16th century to understand the roots of it. So we're going to see, as we dig into this, where this slavery came from. Because it was really a system that was very, very well crafted. There was Islamic masters, and there were white Ashkenazi Khazar ship owners. There were the buyers and the sellers. And they're not going to fill you in on all of this, but really you've got a four-tier system. Number one. You have the Negro nomads that were exiled from the kingdom of Judah. Number two, you had indigenous black African hunters that resented the regal Negro nomads that had come into their territory with their own customs, with their own laws that were different and would not assimilate into their tribal culture. They were their own tribe. They were the regal house of Judah. And number three, you had Islamic trappers that worked with the indigenous black Africans to trap the regal Negro house of Judah. And then you had them sell them to the Ashkenazi ship merchants. It's enough to go further back. Do you know how many blacks in America have been lost to Islam? It's outrageous. That's not your tribe. Your tribe is Judah. Muhammad's tribe enslaved you. Why would you convert to Muhammad's tribe when you're of King David's tribe? Don't. Convert to the tribe that enslaved you and then sold you to Ashkenazi. Ship merchants. More black Negroes have been lost to Islam in the 20th century than any other believing, Bible-believing group. It's outrageous because they don't want you to know who you really are and what tribe you're from. But you're not from Muhammad's tribe. Never were. Never were. You are a regal Negro class from the royal house of Judah. Amen. It's outrageous to me. Islam is not the black man's religion. It's for those of the Banu Hashem clan of the Quraysh tribe. That's who it's for. It's not from the tribe of Judah. Never was, never will be. It was the, never the religion of the Negro nomads in Africa because they were exiled from the kingdom of Judah. In Joel chapter 3 verse 6, it talks about these indig indigenous black Africans in collusion with the Ashkenazi because they were selling the Negro house of Judah to the Greeks. And who did the Greeks? The Greeks, they invented democracy, didn't they? Didn't they just? 
You see, Africans weren't selling their own people. They were selling a tribe that had encroached upon their land, a higher educated, regal class that had judges, coppersmiths, goldsmiths, and all of this, and they did not assimilate in, and they wanted their stuff, and they wanted to get paid by Islam, and Islam wanted to get paid by the Ashkenazi ship merchants. The Igbo tribe of Africa, they're Jewish. If you were to look, I mean, if you were to look, just look at old maps, old maps of the um, African slaving maps. There's an old map of, um, I think it's, it's Guinea in, 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 in maybe 17, in the 1720s, 1730s. There's this old map and it's called a slave coast map. Look on that. It's the slave coast map of Guinea, 1736. And you look on the West Africa map of 1747, and it says right on the West Africa map, map of 1747, Kingdom of Judah. Right there, right there on the map. On the 1747 Slave Coast map, Desert of Seth. Well, who was Seth? He was Adam and Eve's third son after the death of who? Abel. Desert of Seth, right there on the, an African slaving map. Luke chapter 3, verse 38. We're talking about the genealogy of Yahusha from the tribe of Judah. Verse 38, the son of Enosh, the son of Seth, the son of Adam, the son of of Elohim. But by 1771, the same map, the same map, the very same map, even with the same cartographer that did the map of 1747, all of a sudden, by 1771, oh, they got wise to it. And there is no kingdom of Judah no more on that map. Disappeared. Same cartographer. Same cart. Whoa, oh, somebody got to him, right? Why would the same cartographer remove the kingdom of Judah from the 1777 map, 1771 map, that was in the 1747 map? Why would he do that? You see, you've got to go further back because the more we go along this timeline in this day that we have, People don't understand what has gone on in the past. And we are making the very same mistakes as we come to this apocalyptic time of days that we're living in. We're enslaved. But all of those areas around what we call today the Slavic regions, they were, of course, enslaved by Islam. What's the number one slaving country today? What's the number one country that America is economically, politically in bed with? The number one slaving country in the world today. Saudi Arabia. Our whole currency is connected to a slaving country that enslaves women, children, and men from all over the world. And they say nothing. And we, they're funding our politicians. Funding our politician. And you don't think this message is relevant? Because people just, oh, well, let's just stick to, you know, safe and secure. Meanwhile, we're all going down the, sh the street to destruction. Do you really think they care what color your skin is? They just want to enslave you all. But they don't want you to really tell the black Negro in America, what tribe he's from and who truly enslaves him. 